guys. Good morning. Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see, I want to see what's the energy currently surrounding you guys, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading. Okay. All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. For my Virgos. I knew ancest ancestry was going to come out. I was sitting here and I was saying that to myself because every time I see a card in the pre-shuffle, it always comes out when I'm actually shuffling for you guys. We have opportunity. It says family reunion, honoring our roots here. So there, there has to, there's something about what, an ancestor right now, present moment. There's something about your family tree. Show me. Show me what I need to see. We have lightning disruption. You also have a key, an opportunity here. Show me, Spirit. I see some emotions. And Spirit is telling you guys to never give up. Never give up. There's something that you feel some type of way about. There's something here that you feel some type of way about. It, it could do with your family. It could do with an ancestor, a relative, a family, or even your family dynamics. You know, this is kind of like, say, you're you're taking over you're taking over a family business, or you're starting a family business, um, and you're using some of the same ingredients, or you're starting from starting from your lineage, starting from a family uh, ancestors ingredients. Um, there's something here about what you are, what you're doing, what you're trying to do, where it all started, where it all began. It started to begin with your ancestors. It started to begin with people, the family members before you here, your family tree. Something's going on right now, present moment in your life. And it may, there may be some type of disruptions going on right now present moment in your life but i feel like there's there's something about an opportunity in the mix of all of this spirit wants you to never give up because the disruption is dead smack in the middle and you feel some type of way you know there's things that's hidden that's coming to light um there's things that you're finding out you've either found out something you're finding out something you feel some type of way about something and it could definitely have to do with your ancestors it could do have to do with your family um, your family tree itself, your your relatives, however this goes. It could be one specific relative or it could be a, a, a number of relatives here. But this is showing me that there are some feelings and there's some emotions about, about this. But it's you're being motivated from this as well. It's something about this. It's fueling. It's fueling a flame within within you. Is opening doors. It w if if this didn't happen, then this wouldn't happen. If you weren't a part of this, you wouldn't be a part of that. So it's not wasted, because I, I'm also getting like being I'm getting like being proud of where you come from. Whether it be a, a whether it whether whether it would have been. A negative experience or a positive experience, the experience itself is where you're benefiting from. 
whatever the experience was, whether positive and or negative, you're, you, you are gaining from that experience. Some of you guys could be seeing 4224. Yeah, because I see, I see 4242. Two. Someone here, you could have been born in 71. I see August 23rd. I see August 24th. I see September 17th coming through. Let's see what's going on. Show me ancestry for my Virgos. Show me ancestry. Mm, stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and a shocking attack here. There's something that's bringing you some type of pain in dealing with this could also be like genetics or something this could somebody here this could have to do with some some issues that you've had i instantly got some health issues whereas you may have found out some news here and it's it's not it's not so it, it may not be so So it may not be so pleasing, whatever that energy is, because there's a lot of heartbreak, pain, separation. You know, this is breaking up a, a home, a family. You know, you may have experienced this in some type of way, shape or form. You know, right now, present moment, you may be separated from a loved one, separated from your parents or separated from your family. Someone here, you could have a family member that deceived you, that hurt you in you weren't expecting it. You were blindsided by this. Yeah. You could have definitely been blindsided by this. Whatever this energy is. Hmm. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. Show me key. For my Virgo. Wow. Love call. Someone wants to talk to you. Someone's actually going to express their love. You're going to receive a message of love. Someone's thinking of you. They're going to be letting you know there's an opportunity here. Somebody's thinking of you. Hmm. So there's some type of form of communication that's coming your way. And there's it's an opportunity of opening up the lines of communication. Someone here, this has to do with a family member. This has to do with a family member or a loved one. Calling you to let you know that they're thinking about you and they're going to let you know. So now this could be you have there there could be an opening here, like a family gathering or family reunion, um, some type of meet and greet, however this goes, but there's an opening here. And I feel like, you know, this is this is always this is kind of like your weekend energy, but this energy can kind of travel through, but there's an opportunity here that's coming in for you. To be able to either for you to be able to either express your love or you or someone else expressing their love towards you. Someone just, and I feel like some of you guys, it's like something just light, something just out of the ordinary. Someone just messaging you, someone calling you. Are you doing the same? Letting someone know that you're thinking about them, letting someone know that you you know they exist or you know, or, or just think, just checking on you. So this, whether it be you giving or receiving this, some of you guys here, this could be a family member that may have hurt you, stabbed you in your back in some type of way, shape or form, or this could even be like a sibling I'm getting, whereas there may have been some beef between you and your siblings or some beef between you and a family member here. And you either you will decide to reach out to them or they're going to reach out to you. Yeah. Show me lightning. So we have the snake and the chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Hmm. And the snake here, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, looking over the show, over your shoulder and the other woman here. Some of you guys, there's some type of disruption that's going on here in your life. This is, this is kind of giving me something very personal. 
This is giving me an energy here of something very, very personal. There's some type of disruption here. Somebody here, you have somebody that don't want to leave you alone. And again, I picked up that energy yesterday evening. They're dealing with somebody else that feels some type of way about you. I picked up this energy yesterday evening here, but there's some type of disruption here. You know, again, you feel some type of way. Someone else feels some type of way because there, there's a feeling of competition here. But I also feel like someone feels some type of way about you. And this is almost giving me an innocent bystander energy. It may not be so also oh, innocent bystander, but the problem, the problem, the disruption that's being brought to your foot, to, to your feet or to your door front. It really and truly it's like that energy shouldn't even be coming towards you here. Some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here. This person has some, this peer, this person has fear of abandonment issues. Issues. And there's some type of, they're causing some type of disruption here in your life. Being left behind, being alone. This person has insecurities. This person has a lot of insecurities, but they also have some underlining issues whoever this person is whoever this person is that you're dealing with they have some underlining issues but they also they may have some mother father issues yeah show me show me moon for my virgos so we have soulmate soul connection partnership agreement and soul contract you have a bond with this person. Whoever this is that you're dealing with this weekend or in this energy right now, present moment, you have a very significant bond with this person. You have a soul contract with this person. Some of you guys, you have an actual agreement with this person. This could be a marriage or a commitment here that you've made to this person. Someone here, this could actually be a child. And even this could be a sibling. I keep getting that. Some of you guys, this could be a sibling. Yeah, show me more spirit for my Virgos. Show me phrases. Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, and third party interference. Hmm. Somebody here, you may be in a relationship or a connection with someone here, and they may have allowed they may have allowed someone, someone, someone else's energy to seep through your connection with them. Somebody here, there's some type of office romance going on here. Are there's are are, are there somebody that you're crushing on at your workplace? Mm. Why is this energy coming out though? Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. Show me seduction for my Virgos. Not enough. Frustrated in the relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fear, ego is issues, and jealousy. There's somebody here that... That won't, there's somebody here that won't leave you alone. I feel like I picked up this energy yesterday evening. Also, some of you guys, you're dealing with someone here that is, they're making you feel some type of way. And it's not in a good way. It's not in a good way. You know, and somebody here, this could be a family member where they're going through it. But again, they're bringing their issues, their problems to your door front here. Because you're dealing with somebody here that, again, I picked up this energy here. There's a lack of confidence. Somebody's having like marital problems or relationship problems here. 
But whoever this person is, they're sabotaging. And why they're sabotaging is because they lack confidence. There's a lot of jealousy in this person's heart. You know, there's a lot of, yeah, this person's very competitive. They have, a in, they have an evil, a evil streak, this person. Their, 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 their form of communication is very cunning. And sometimes you, this person may put up like a pity party where, oh, well, it's me or the world is against me or this person's against me here. That's kind of the line of communication with this person, whoever this person is. But that's somewhat of the line of communication from what I'm seeing here. And this could be a family member or a loved one. Show me, let's see. Show me stabbed in the back for my Virgos. Ace of Wands. Somebody feels, oh, some of you guys, you got a jealous family member. You have a very jealous family member in your energy. Hmm. Someone here, you have a family member that actually betrayed you. And I'm, I'm saying that I'm saying it very lightly because I'm getting two different energies. But it's def it has to do with sexually in some type of way, shape, or form. Show me, show me what I need to see. Ace of Swords, as I speak the truth, you got two aces here. You got Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords. Ooh, some of you guys, there's some, there's some enlightenment here. Like, some type of truth has surfaced in your family. Some type of betrayal, some type of truth, some type of pain. Someone here, you know, we are about to enter into Mercury retrograde. We're in the pre the shadow the shadow energy of it. There may be a burst of energy that comes your way. That's kind of heavy on your heart. There's something here that's heavy on your heart. That causes a weight here on your heart. And it could be it could be genetics or it could just be something that happened within your family. Yeah. Show me love call for my Virgos. We have the sun healing. Oh, you got you got communication coming in that's gonna make you extremely happy. You got some communication here that's coming in. It's positive. It's positive. Leo energy. Knight of Swords. Yep, I told you. There's someone here that's gonna reach out to you. It's gonna make you extremely happy. And it's about healing. It's about healing. It's something that you've hoped for. Could be with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Leo. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Six of Cups. This could be a child. This could be some type of communication from a child, a baby mother, a baby father, an ancestor. Again, a sibling, a family member, somebody that you have history with. This is about healing. But whatever this communication is, is going to make you extremely happy. Queen of Swords. Three of Pentacles. You're, you're still guarded though. You are. You're still very much so guarded when this line of communication comes in. You're still very much so guarded. But you're also a matter of fact. There's a matter of fact energy. Because this is giving... I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you kind of sitting, sitting on your throne in the sense like, oh, I knew that this was going to happen. Oh, I knew that I was right. Like there's a very cold persona that's coming from you. I see this energy. Yeah, show me, show me the snake for my Virgos, the high priestess, Pisces energy. You know who's real and who's fake. You know who want to be in your business and, and who, like, you know, you see so clearly the high priestess, Pisces energy. Like, you know, who's real, who's fake. You know, who's for you and who's against you. Like, Yeah. Also, there's a disruption here. You, There's somebody here in your life right now. You read this person so well. The world. You read this person so well. So well. Hmm. 
Why is the chaser here for my Virgos? Wow. Two of Swords. And Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. Two Swords shows me indecisiveness on your end. Yeah, Two of Swords is showing me that this that you can't help yourself. King of Wands. You can't help yourself. This person, like, even though you feel some type of way about this person, even though you feel some type of way about this situation, you can't help yourself. You, you, you're you in it. Like, you keep yourself in it. You actually don't release yourself from this. You go back and forth. You're indecisive here. There's an indecision here. Are you also, there's a, there's a, there's a turning a blind eye. What I don't see, what, what I don't question. Somebody here, you know that somebody has somebody else on the side. Somebody here, you have fear of abandonment issues. Or you could be dealing with another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn that has it, or a Pisces. Somebody here, this is somebody that you have a soul contract with. Show me, show me this soulmate energy for my Virgos. Show me. The fool. Uh, you know, I insulate God. Am I, am I, am I being foolish? Like I instantly got that question. Am I being foolish? Somebody, you, you're, you as I say this to you, you're, uh, as I say this to you, you know, you know yourself. As I say this to you, a part of you knows one way and a part of you still hopes for something else. The lovers, Gemini energy, yeah. <laughs> Again, you have a soul contract with someone here. And it's hoping for the best, but hoping for the best. <sighs> yeah, show me the fool for my Virgos. King of Swords. Whoever this is, this person, they do it to themselves, Lord. King of Cups. Whoever this is that you're that you're still dealing with, and it doesn't have to be directly, it could be indirectly, it could be the shared, shared forces of energy coming through here. But You, it's right now as in the center of this read, you, you bear, you bear this weight, you bear this burden. You add extra to your life. It's there, it's there. And it's because you still entertain. You're entertaining, still entertaining. You may not, you, you, it may be outside of your control, because somebody here, this could be a family member. Somebody here, this could be a lover. You know, however this goes, you know. But I also feel like somebody else can deal with this as well. I also feel like you can allow someone else to deal with this. But I also feel like you can't help yourself. Nine of Cups. Why do I feel like... It's the, it's, it's the, it's the wish fulfillment of being needed. This person makes you feel needed. Eight of wands. You like talking to this person, the chariot cancer energy. You feel like you can fix this person. You feel like you can help this person. Cancer energy coming through, Aries energy coming through, Pisces energy coming through. There's something about this person being wounded in some type of way, shape, or form. They could have been wounded in battle. This person could have some mental issues as well. They could definitely have some mental issues. They could, they, somebody here, this person could have some speech impediments. This person could have actually been wounded in battle, like they could have been in the military, the army. They could have some psychological issues here, whoever this person is. 
Again, somebody here, this could be a sibling or a child. And there's a there's a codependency on your in there's a codependency here at your foot. There is there is a part of you, you're codependent of this person's need for you, desire for you. Hmm. I can get into this even further, but wow, because the energy is getting strong. It's starting to be heavy on my head. All right, let's see. Show me spirits. Show me seduction for my Virgos. Show me seduction. Yeah, we have this page of wands. Ooh, you're... So there is... Some of you guys, there's something... There's an office romance here. Or there's, or there's an energy here of wanting. Eight of Pentacles, see that? Hmm. But with that page of wands, it's telling me like somebody got in trouble for some type of office romance or some other, some issues at work due to an office romance or a flirtatious energy or however this goes. But I also see avoiding some form of communication. Somebody here right now, present moment, you're trying to avoid whatever communication or you're, or you're waiting for communication that's not coming. So you're either avoiding it or you're waiting for communication that's not coming here. Or someone here, this could be, whereas there's an offer or proposal or an opportunity here, a promotion, however it goes, that looks very attractive and you just, you haven't heard back from the people as of yet. Yeah, you haven't heard back from them as of yet. Or if you have, it wasn't good news. Six of Wands. They got eyes on you. They got eyes on you and whatever this situation is. Five of Cups. Mm, now we see. Now we see. Hmm. I don't feel like somebody should be jeopardizing their career or their job for a roll in the hay or to feel a void or feel something because somebody here, you, and I feel like I'm speaking to somebody very, very specific. So I said here, so it's like, I want to say, hear me because of something that is missing somewhere else there's an entertaining of something else that ain't gonna do anything better it's not gonna do anything better for you it's not gonna make you feel any less neglected or alone it's not gonna fulfill you it's not gonna make you happy it's not gonna feel what you're what you're looking for that message is meant for someone it is not meant for everybody. It is meant for someone. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. Three of pentacles. There's something going on at somebody's work with somebody. And you got to work. You got you to gotta work. A part, you have to be a part of a team. You know, you have to deal with people. It's like worry. Somebody's worrying about the wrong thing when you're supposed to be at work or focusing on your responsibilities here. Yeah, show, show me show me not enough for my Virgos. The devil. I've told you guys. There's it's 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 not gonna Capricorn energy. Like there's a situation or a situation ship here. There's an environment here and there's frustration. There's a lot of frustration. Like I see it before the cards even show it to me. There's a lot of frustration here. Like someone's sabotaging themselves. There's insecurities here. There's jealousy here, but I feel like you're you're wanting to get yourself out of this situation. I feel like you're wanting to free yourself from this toxic environment, this situation here. There's a situation here that is not giving you what you need. Ten of Swords. Look at that. Somebody here, you're 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 a part of this. You're you're a part of this. You did you you in this, like like you keep yourself in this.
the hermit virgo energy you need to take a step back you need to go within you need to take a step back and you need to go within you need to withdraw yourself from this the star you know this is about healing and this is about your faith this is about you what you pour into this is about what you pour into what you water look if you water something with the best intentions and the best heart you're going to give that energy back in return but if you water something and it is not proper like if it's tainted tainted contaminated if you're utilizing sources resources that's that's tainted contaminated however this goes you know what i'm saying you're not going to reap any reward from that that's going to cause you more pain somebody here you may be actually having this conversation with someone else this could be a family member or a work person this does not have to be you but I, I just heard the words coming out of somebody's mouth. I just gave somebody the words to say to someone when you have this conversation with them. I see it. All right, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not. Until next time. Bye, guys.